It's a packed house at tonight's Montgomery City Council meeting in the wake of a violent weekend that saw two shootings Friday and three homicides on Saturday. Concerned residents and victims, family and friends filled City Hall to speak directly to officials and hear Mayor Reed's response to the violence. WSFA 12 News reporter Simon Schusler was there to hear those comments and silent, um, Simon, what did people have to say? Val, Mark, Mayor Reed started off his speech as usual, going over city finances and recognizing the retiring Montgomery County EMA director, Christina Thornton. Afterwards, however, is when he got to the issue that many people, frankly, were in attendance for. Tensions were high at Tuesday's city council meeting after a wave of violent incidents swept the city of Montgomery over the weekend. I mean, it's tragic. It's truly tragic. Uh, not only do we have senseless acts that ended in homicides, but a uh, young woman is probably never going to walk again. Mayor Reed acknowledging the shortage in Montgomery's police force in his statement, while also stressing community intervention as part of the solution. And we're working hard daily to recruit and retain new officers. But the attack on our community is not the police force's responsibility to bear alone. Everyone in this room, in every corner of this community, has a responsibility as well. The mayor also speaking on her Amy Dix. Joe she was caught in crossfire during a shooting on Atlanta Highway last dog. Friday, yep. and she was paralyzed. Her family says she can only use her arms and hands. Many of Amy's friends and family coming out to show their support. Amy is a person who would reach out and help anyone. And in her message to us on Facebook, she was thankful that she still has arms to be able to hug. Friends of Amy's joined some of her family members to make remarks on the violence, each gaining a big round of applause from the audience. Her mom was one of those that gathered up the courage to speak to the council less than a week after her daughter was paralyzed. Oh, Amy is wonderful. She's a wonderful mother to her 17-year-old daughter, a wonderful wife, a great friend. She's funny. She's hardworking. She's just a good person. Now, just to give you an idea of how emotional today's meeting was, I'll read from the speech that her mother gave to the council describing the call after her daughter was shot. Quote, at 1.12 p.m., I answered my phone to Mama. I've been shot. I'm going to die. Mama, I can't move. I love you. Take care of Ella. Ella being her daughter, just impossible to imagine those emotions that her family is going through right now. Val? Heartbreaking. Thank you so much, Simon. Amy's mom went on to describe exactly what happened at the time of that shooting, saying, quote, she heard many gunshots and wondered what was happening. She slid down in the seat until it was quiet. She sat back up in her seat and was struck by a bullet. At this time, there's been no arrest in that shooting.